Network. We're back once again at the Gordon Beersch Brewery in San Jose. Brewmaster Dan Gordon has invited us out for another exclusive. Now, last time it was Hippotamus Maximus, so we know Dan's always got something up his sleeve. Let's find out what it is this time. Back with Dan Gordon, Director of Brewing Operations and founder of Gordon Beersch Brewing Company. And today we're here to talk about some of the recent trends in brewing. Now, rumor has it that there's a new beer out. You've been doing some heavy R&D on a new extreme beer. An extremely light beer, that is. Did you say light beer? Why on earth would a serious craft brewer do a light beer? Yeah, it was clear to me that a huge section of the population was being denied a great craft beer because they just didn't like beer. They felt ostracized, yet still wanted to be part of the craft beer movement. You have seen them in bars drinking Mai Tais, Bloody Marys out of logo beer glasses. This is really our answer to that segment, and it's called Essence. All right, extremely noble on your part, Dan, but you'll excuse me while the nausea sets in. All right, so the beer's called Essence? Yeah, well, you won't get nauseous once you taste or rather inhale this beer. You've incorporated some novel brewing techniques that no other brewery has employed. Well, now you've intrigued me. Elaborate on that. Well, dry, dry hopping, for instance. You mean dry hopping without actually any liquid contact with the hops? Yes, precisely. We put the hops in the kettle before any water is added. That's doing an aroma pre-coat. I was inspired by the extra dry martini technique of spraying vermouth into the glass and then rinsing it away. The dry, dry hopping creates a light hop aroma without leaving any bitterness in the beer, such that those light beer drinkers wouldn't be offended by any beer-like flavors. Okay, so what about the malt bill? The malt bill is huge, especially when considering this is the lightest beer in the world. The theoretical original gravity on this beer is close to 100 Play-Doh. 100 theoretical Play-Doh. Amazing. And how about the calories? You know, for the calorie conscious. Negative one calories. This is how we do it. No water is actually added to the grist during mashing. We capture just the essence. Amazing. You actually burn more calories drinking the beer than you intake from the beer. Hence the name Essence. Well, a unique beer like this must have a unique serving vessel. Is it a clear bottle to go with the essence? Well, we debated this a long time. Our initial thought was one of those ornate perfume aspirators since there isn't any actual liquid in it, but then we opted to go with the inflatable bag to better illuminate the lighter than air characteristics. Okay. What about a serving vessel and serving temperature? Well, any temperature under 175 degrees is perfect. Sharp straw and a firm grip is all you really need to enjoy this beer. Incredible. Well, Dan, cheers. <laughs>